Hi. <clears throat> I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind, um, particularly uh, purity culture, um, something that's been um, espoused by um, conservative Christians since the 1990s. Um, I mean, what I feel about it, I mean, I feel that it has good intentions, but I think it basically promotes um, sexual legalism, partic particularly among women. Um, I mean, I I do understand it's okay to um, say say no to um, to sexual intercourse before marriage, but um, purity culture goes w w way too far. Um, I mean, saying saying you can't even um, you can't even ki kiss, hug, or date somebody. And um, I mean, for marriage, and um, that that I think is going a little too a little too far, and. Um, Emphasis is always on the woman's virginity. That um, that if that if a woman loses her virginity, she has no worth in God's eyes, and that that's simply not true. I mean, I mean, I mean, pe people who have had sex before, um, I mean, especially women. Um, they're still they still have worth in God's eyes. And just um I just don't like the term um damaged goods when it comes comes to um women who've lost their virginity for, for any reason, including including uh rape or incest or any kind of sexual assault. I mean I mean what I mean Women are, are are humans too. They're also made in God's image, and um, we sh we should basically respect that. Um, women are are also made in God's image, and um, I mean there there's hardly any emphasis on on a man on being being pure. I mean. Which is which is really which is really sad. I mean, I mean, sh shouldn't a man be also be pure, pure and have no, no other um, sex partners um, bef before he, before he gets married? Now, I I just don't. I just don't like all, all this sexual legalism that that surrounds purity culture. I mean, I mean, there's some some people who are so so creepy as to um as as to check a woman's virginity um before before you get married. I mean, I mean the, that's basically an old practice, but um. That just that just smacks of creepiness and something rather perverted. I mean, well, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I certainly wouldn't want um, if I was marrying a virgin. Some, some. Um, I mean, I mean, her, someone like her father, um, cre creeping up into her, um, what? My um, perspective, um, bride's vagina to um, <laughs> see if she's still a virgin. I mean, I mean, I I know the Old Testament um ma makes the um, father the gatekeeper of um, a woman's virginity and um, and if if um, woman's not found to be a virgin or in her father's house, when 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 she, she is married, then the then the um, woman's to be stoned. 
which is really, really sad, but um, it's, it, it's part of um, Old Testament law, so. I just, I just don't like the, um, I just don't like the sexual legalism, I mean. I mean, no, no kissing, no hugging, no, no, um, dating. That's, um, that's taking things a little too far. And that's pretty much all I really have to share with you this morning, so. Have a good day. And God bless you.